Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. I am reviewing in my car again today and I'm going to try not to move too much because I know my coat can make a lot of noise when I move. So today's book is one that I I put off reading for so long and I have absolutely no idea why I keep doing this. And the book I'm reading today is Check Please, book one by Ngozi Ukazu. So this is a comic book. It was shelved in the teen section and I know I am very late to the game on this book. So my style of getting books out of the library consists of me going to the library, walking around until I find things that look interesting, and then checking them out. I don't usually have a massive list of things to read, or at least not one that I'm actively trying to work through. There's a whole list of things I would like to read, but I'm not going to the library with a specific book in mind. I also don't tend to follow what a lot of other people are reading, mostly because if it's a popular book it's already completely checked out of the library so I just tend to go in do my own thing and not really worry about what other people are reading or what's hot right now which is kind of a mistake because if something is really hot really popular it probably has some value to it if everyone's reading it so maybe I should follow that more closely because this is the second time I've encountered a series that I have gotten a lot of recommendations for and slept on for a long time the first one being Q. This series I received several recommendations for, so even though I do not actively try to keep up with what's really popular in books at the moment, I do not live under a rock, and a lot of my friends are also readers, and in particular my aunt started recommending this book for me to me. She said it was really interesting, I would love it, and I just said, okay, and I added it to my book to, or my list of books to read, but I never actively went and saw it out. My sister then recommended it to me and was like, you need to read this book. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's on my list. My aunt already told, or our aunt already told us about it. So I'll get to it. And I knew there was a lot of hype around this book. I knew it had won some awards. I knew that it was big. I knew that people were reading it. I, even though I don't actively keep up with it, with I don't know, book world, whatever's going on in what other people are reading. I knew that this book was getting a lot of hype at the time and I was like, okay, I'll read it. Somehow in all the hype, I totally missed that this was a romance and my aunt neglected to tell me that because I tend to not prefer romances. In fact, two weeks ago, if you told me one of the top books of the year was a gay hockey romance, I would have been like, no way I would have even picked that book up. You are crazy. I am I'm not going to read a gay hockey romance. That's just so far outside what I normally read that it sounds ridiculous. I was in the library looking for another book in the teen graphic novel section and I saw this book on the shelf and I was like, okay, I'm going to pick it off the shelf and read it because I know my aunt's been bothering, bothering me about this for like two years. So I need to actually read this book just so I can get her off my back. That was the entire reasoning behind taking this book off the shelf was to get my aunt off my back about this book even though my aunt always has like a plus recommendations she's a great she has great recommendations for me and I've never regretted anything that she's recommended so I don't know why I thought that this was going to be any different I brought it home was still sleeping on it I read some Q. I read another book just hanging around this was sitting here and I thought mm, I'm gonna pick this up and read it because I can knock it out in an afternoon and again get my aunt off my back. Somehow in all this hype, I, with all the hype around this book, I still thought this was mostly a book about hockey and maybe I had no idea why there was a baked good on the cover. I didn't even bother to read any of the reviews on this. I'm sure at some point someone told me there was a romance element, but that had completely left my mind and I'm still sitting here, sitting down to read this book like there's gonna be a hockey book. And it is a hockey book. It is, it follows um, Biddy, this boy here, and the overarching story is the fact that he is in love with his teammate, Jack, who is going to, he's a star player and he's going to go on to NHL and he's super cool and super great. And as far as Biddy knows, very, very straight. So as I'm reading the book, I'm like, oh, it's going to be one of these unrequited love books. But I was also loving it because the team interactions were just wonderful. There's an individual here, this guy, I totally forget his name. Um, is this shitty? It might be shitty. He... He looks like every hockey player that I've ever met. Anyways, that's just an aside. But I was loving the team camaraderie. I was loving the hockey element. And that was something I also didn't expect. Me, 
I like hockey, but I'm not like a super fan. I tend to find with sports, I'd rather play it than watch it. So I'll go to a hockey game, but I've never actually played hockey. So maybe that kind of contributes to my mm, feeling. Maybe if I played it, I would be super into it. But I was just loving the team camaraderie and I was actually being drawn in by the romance, which never happens. Guys, I'm the kind of person who's tearing apart romances. Not usually, it's a preference. So preferences always have exceptions, I feel like, right? And I tend to not prefer romance or I pre tend to prefer books where romance is not the main focus. But romance was, romance was becoming more and more the main focus and I was getting more and more emotionally involved in Biddy's life as in I was very concerned about him. I was like, oh, this is going to be an unrequited love and it's going to be super tough. And now I feel really bad for this boy who just wants this other boy to love him, but he's not going to get that because he's on this hockey team and blah, blah, blah. And he's just living. I don't know. I was getting very involved. Um, and then the end of this book hit and I did scream and I did throw the book around a little bit. Um, because maybe Jack isn't as straight as advertised. So overall, this book was like a six out of five. I, and that's the kind of thing you could not have told me. You could not have told me two weeks before I read this book that I would read a hockey romance about two guys on a hockey team who fall in love and believed you that I would have enjoyed it. But this was, I'm hesitant to say the best book I've read this year because I'm also reading Haikyuu, which I love, but this is probably the best book that I have read this year. I actually sat down and basically read it a second time the moment I finished the first time. I don't know why I was waiting so long to read this book. If you are waiting to read this book, stop, go and purchase a copy because yes, I did get this from my library, but I will be going and purchasing a copy because I want this book so bad. And even if you're not a romance reader, I think you should give this book a try. I think if you don't read comics, still give it a try. Don't read romance, still give it a try. Not really sure this is your cup of tea. Give it a try because I thought this was, this ticked all the boxes of a book that I would not enjoy and I wound up enjoying it so much and it was one of the top books of the year. This makes me think, what other recommendations from my aunt have I been ignoring? This makes me think maybe I need to pay attention more to what everyone else is reading because clearly they're onto something. Um, and this makes me think, where's book two? immediately. Um, I went and found book two immediately because I needed to read this because this was, as I said, to date, which I've only read like 15 books this year. We're only at the beginning of 2023, but so far we are off to a great start. And this has been one of the best, if not the best book that I have read this year. This has been a wonderful read. I highly, highly, highly recommend like six out of five stars. Absolutely crazy. Out of this world. In love. My one little nitpick that I will do is I don't know if the author, um, Ngozi Ukazu knew it was going to get this big or what or maybe this was a stylistic choice. I feel like she could have built up the romantic tension a little bit more. I feel like I mean I kind of started to see it coming a little ways off or at least I saw the unrequited love kind of aspect of it coming from a ways off but I think she could have built up that tension between the characters a little bit more but everything else in the book was so over the top well done. It was just such a great read that I decided I didn't care if um I would have preferred a little bit more romantic build up which is very odd for me to say because normally I'm not really big on romance and so the fact that I'm really nitpicking, like I would have preferred more romance is telling you just how good of a book this is. I love it. I think it deserves all the hype. I think if you haven't read it, you need to give it a try. This is a six out of five star for me. This is easily, I'm going to say it, probably the best book I've read this year. I am in love and I cannot believe it took me this long to read this book. If you have any recommendations similar to this or you have any recommendations for someone who doesn't keep up on popular books, a book that you think I'm missing because I'm not keeping up on what's popular right now, please let me know because this has kind of been a great read and a fun ride and I am so excited to keep reading. 2023 has been off to a great start for me. I hope it's been off to a great start for you. I'm having a great time just in life in general and also my reading life. I've read a lot of five star, four star, highly rated great books and I'm only in the first two weeks of the year so I'm excited to see what the rest of this year holds. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you'd like to follow my book reviews and see what else I have. Other than that, yep, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.